tech developers in today's video we are going to dive into the world of ios development and explore how to create custom ios framework from scratch uh, we will not only learn the process of creating the framework but also understand how to seamlessly integrate into our project so let's get started firstly i'll create one folder here okay inside this folder i'll create two folders more one for the library and one for the main project so in this video i'll create one dummy calculator library and we will use that dummy calculator library into our main project you can mention any name so i have created two folders one for the framework and one for the main project firstly we will create framework and uh, we will use that framework into our main project okay so now i am going to create one project in xcode so just create this and here you will have to choose this framework because we are creating framework okay and just click on next and then write the name of your project here and click on next and just choose your folder where uh, you want to create this uh, framework okay so i am going to create this framework inside my calculator framework folder so just select this and just create this now you can see our project is created framework is created okay and uh, you can see we have my calculator framework here now just go here uh, inside framework and libraries section and just press on plus button and add any framework okay any framework so you can see the framework is added here and you can also see here many folders created okay if you have these all folders by default then you don't need to add this framework now just remove this framework so select this and click on minus button and then delete okay now we will create one swift swift file okay so just we create one file here and choose this swift and press on next and then mention the name of swift file so i am going to so i am going to take as my calculator okay and then press on create so you can see one swift file added here that is the name of my calculator okay here we will write all the logics of calculator 
and we will use into our main project so I am going to create class here firstly with the help of this class name we will achieve all methods which is written inside this class inside this class we will create uh, multiple methods like add subtract multiply divide okay and I am taking two parameters okay we will send two parameters a and b to calculate this two number okay and this will be the type of return so I am going to use this return okay and in the return we will get integer value okay so just return this and here we will calculate this a plus b value which we will send from our main project to calculate okay So this is the function of addition similarly we will create the function of subtraction and multiplication and one for the for divide okay this will be minus and this will be multiplication and this is for div divide okay so our code is completed for our library framework okay now I am going to build this project okay so just build this and you can see uh, we have no any errors okay after build successful uh, you need to okay so after successful uh, build I am going to create our main project okay so just go to file then new and then create project and just select app this time okay and just press on next and mention the name of your project so and press on next and select your project folder okay so my project folder is my calculator main project we have recently created okay so just press on create here you can see our main project is also created successfully now I am going to minimize this okay and uh, in our framework just go inside product and just select this and go inside finder okay so you will get this framework we will use this framework okay so just minimize our framework and inside main project and inside our main project okay just drag this inside this my calculator main project okay and uh, check this copy items if needed and click on finish so you can see our framework is added here and here you will also you can also see my calculator framework is added here and just select this embed without signing okay and now I am going to 
to work on UI section in our main project okay I'm going to create some basic uh, UI uh, from where we will call all the my calculator methods which we have already created in our framework so just uh, I'm going to use two text fields here and uh, applies constraint okay so I am applying constraint like 100 from top and 16 from left and 16 from right and just add three constraints so you can see our text field is looking like this and just control P and just press control D so we will get duplicate of this text field and I am going to add constant of this second text field and just click on add one constant ok and here change this to B ok so first will be a value and second will be b value and here we will uh, add four buttons one for add subtract second for subtract third for multiplication and fourth for divide okay so And in the background choose custom and in the field we can take any color okay and in the foreground color uh, you can select any color I am selecting as white color okay and I am going to apply a constraint of the on this button so here from top it will be 24 left 16 right 16 and add three constants so you can see one button is added and then duplicate this button so press ctrl command d ok so you will get duplicate buttons change the text of this button ok add constant okay <coughs> okay I have added 8 and from left 16 from right 16 and top 8 okay and add 3 constant similarly I will apply for this multiplication okay so 8 16 16 and for divide also 8 16 16 okay so you can see our buttons are also organized now I am going to create the variables in our view controller so just go here and press on assistant so now we will be able to see all the components and codes also here so firstly I am going to create the variable of this text field here ok so just press control and then drag this here ok so you can see uh, one pop up appears here uh, we need to define the text field text field name ok so 
so you can see I have one variable added of first text field and now I am going to create the variable of next text field so similarly we will press control and then we will drag here so and uh, we will define the name like b value and then connect so you can see we have two variables one is a value for first text field and b value for second text field okay we will enter number here and we will execute operations like add subtract multiply divide okay so now i am going to add actions of this all buttons okay so just click on add button and press on control and just drag here okay and here uh, you will have to choose action and then in the name we will define the name of the button and then connect after that button after this add button I'll similarly we will create for all the buttons subtract multiply and divide okay So you can see we have added our actions of all buttons in our view controller so I'm going to close this okay and now I'm going to open this view controller okay so here okay now I'm going to import our framework which we have recently which we have recently added into our project okay my calculator framework so import here so you can see we have my calculator framework okay now here And with the help of my calculator framework we will get this all methods okay like add subtract multiply divide which we have created into our framework okay so firstly we will use this add okay and in the place of a we will use integer and then here we will use this u a value okay a value dot text and here we will use b value dot text So write this exclamatory sign for null safety okay here also we will use this null safety so you can see our the error has gone now I am going to check this code okay so firstly I am going to create this for all okay and this will be subtract and this will be for multiplication and this is for divide ok now I am going to run this application
here you can see our application has launched successfully ok now I am going to enter any number like 43 and 1 ok so now I am going to hit, hit this add button so you will get this answer inside this log ok so now I am going to hit so you can see the value is 44 43 plus 1 now I am going to click on subtract button so the value is 42 multiply 43 because it is 1 ok now I am going to press on this divide button so you can see the value is 21 so our application is working fine ok we have successfully created our custom framework and imported into our main project and we have used that framework ok that's all for this video